Does your user agreement still suck? I, I'm, can, I'm not sure you, how to answer that, Senator. Can, can, you, I, I still basic, hide a, can I, you still hide a dead pot body in all that legalese where nobody can find it? Senator Kennedy. Thank you all for being here. Uh, Mr. Spiegel, I see you hiding down there. What does yada, yada, yada mean? I'm not familiar with the term, Senator. Very uncool. Can we agree that what you do, not what you say, what you do is what you believe and everything else is just cottage cheese? Yes, Senator. You agree with that? Speak up. Don't be shy. I, I, I've listened to, to you today. I've heard a lot of yada, yada, yada. And I've heard you talk about the reforms you've made. And I appreciate them. And I've heard you talk about the reforms you're going to make. But I don't think you're going to solve the problem. I think Congress is going to have to help you. I think the reforms you're talking about to some extent are going to be like putting putting paint on rotten wood. And I'm not sure you're going to support this legislation. I'm not. Um, the, the fact is that you and some of your internet colleagues who are not here are no longer, you're, you're not companies, you're countries. You're, you're very, very powerful. And you and some of your colleagues who are not here have blocked everything we have tried to do in terms of reasonable regulation. Everything from privacy to child exploitation. And um, in fact, we, we have a new definition of recession. Um, a recession is when, we know we're in a recession when Google has to lay off 25 members of Congress. That's what we're down to. We're also down to this fact that your platforms are hurting children. I'm not saying they're not doing some good things, but they're hurting children. And I know how to count votes, and if this bill comes to the floor of the United States Senate, it will pass. What we're going to have to do, and I say this with all the respect I can muster, is convince my good friend Senator Schumer to to go to Amazon, buy a spine online, and bring this bill to the Senate floor. And uh, the House will then pass it. Now that's, that's one person's opinion. I may be wrong, but I doubt it. Uh, Mr. Zuckerberg, let me ask you a couple of questions. Let's, I might wax a little philosophical here. Um, I have to hand it to you. Uh, you, you, have, um, you have convinced over two billion people to give up all of their personal information, every bit of it, in exchange for getting to see what their high school friends had for dinner Saturday night. That's pretty much your business model, isn't it? It's not how I would characterize it. I and mean, we give people the ability to connect with the people they care about and, um, and to engage with the topics that they care about. And you, and you take this information, this abundance of personal information, and then you develop algorithms to punch people's hot buttons which, and, send, and, and, and steer to them information that punches their hot buttons again and again and again to keep them coming back and to keep them staying longer. And as a result, your users see only one side of an issue. And so, to some extent, your platform has become a killing field for the truth, hasn't it? I mean, Senator, I disagree with that, that characterization. Um, 
you know, we build ranking and recommendations because people have a lot of friends and a lot of interests and they want to make sure that they see the content that's relevant to them. Um, we're trying to make a product that's useful to people and, and make our services um, as helpful as possible for people to connect with the people they but, care about and the interests they care about. But and you don't show do. them both sides. You don't give them balanced information. You just keep punching their hot buttons, punching their hot buttons. You don't show them balanced information so people can discern the truth for themselves. And, and you rev them up so much that, that so often your platform and others becomes just cesspools of snark where nobody learns anything, don't they? Well, Senator, I disagree with that. I think people can engage in the things that they're interested in um, and learn quite a bit about those. We have done a, a handful of different experiments and things in the past around news and trying to show content on you know, a diverse set of, of, of perspectives. I think that there's more that needs to be explored there, but I don't think that we can solve that by ourselves. One do, of the things do, that do I you saw- think, I'm sorry to cut you off. Mr. Mr. President, but I'm going to run out of time. Do, do you think your users really understand what they're giving to you, all of their personal information, and how you, how you process it and how you monetize it? Do you think people really understand? Uh, Senator, I think people understand the basic terms. I mean, I, I think that there's... Let, that, that, let me put I, it I actually in, think that a lot of people let me put it another way. We, we spent a couple of years have. since we talked about this. Does your user agreement still suck? I, I'm, can, I'm not sure you, how to answer that, Senator. Can, can, you, I, still I hide a, can I, you still hide a dead body in all that legalese where nobody can find it? Senator, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what you're referring to, but I think people get the basic deal of using these services. It's a free service. You're using it to connect with the people you care about. If you share something with people, other people will be able to see your information. It's, it's inherently, you know, if you're putting something out there to be shared publicly um, or with a private set of people, it's, you know, you're inherently putting it out there. So I, I think people get that basic I, but, part but, of how this works. But Mr. Zuckerberg, works. you're in the foothills of creepy. You, you, track, you, track, you track people who aren't even Facebook users. You track your own people your own users who are your product, even, even when they're not on Facebook. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to land this plane pretty quickly, Mr. Chairman. I, I, just, I mean, it's creepy. And I understand you make a lot of money doing it, but I just wonder if, if our technology is greater than our humanity. I mean, let me ask you this final question. Instagram is harmful to young people, isn't it? Senator, I disagree with that. That's not what the research shows on balance. That doesn't mean that individual people don't have issues and that there aren't things that, that we need to do to, to help provide the right tools for people. But across all of the research that we've done internally, I mean, this, this, the uh, you know, survey that uh, the Senator previously cited, um, you know, there are, 12 or 15 different categories of harm that we asked um, teens if they felt that Instagram made it worse or better. And across all of them, except for the one that, 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 um, that Senator Hawley cited, um, more people said that using Instagram I, made the issues this that they point, face, Mr. Zuckerberg. either positive or... Uh, let me, we just have to agree to disagree. If, if you believe that Instagram, I know it's, I'm not saying it's intentional, but if you agree that Instagram, if you think that Instagram is not hurting millions of our young people, particularly young teens, particularly young women, you shouldn't be driving. It is. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Social media is a very powerful tool, but we're here because every parent I know, and I think every parent in America is terrified about the garbage that is directed at our kids. I have two teenagers at home, and the phones they have are portals to predators, to viciousness, to bullying, to self-harm, and each of your companies could do a lot more to prevent it. Mr. Zuckerberg, in June of 2023, the Wall Street Journal reported that Instagram's recommendation systems were actively connecting pedophiles to accounts that were advertising the sale of child sexual abuse material. 
In many cases, those accounts appeared to be run by underage children themselves, often using code words and emojis to advertise illicit material. In other cases, the accounts included indicia that the victim was being sex trafficked. Now, I know that Instagram has a team that works to prevent the abuse and exploitation of children online. But what was particularly concerning about the Wall Street Journal expose was the degree to which Instagram's own algorithm was promoting the discoverability of victims for pedophiles seeking child abuse material. In other words, this material wasn't just living on the dark corners of Instagram. Instagram was helping pedophiles find it by promoting graphic hashtags, including hashtag ped whore and hashtag preteen sex to potential buyers. Instagram also displayed the following warning screen to individuals who were searching for child abuse material. The, these results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? All right, Senator. Um, the, the, the basic science behind that is that when people are searching for something that is problematic, it's often helpful to, rather than just blocking it, to help direct them towards something that, um, that could be helpful for getting them to get help. In, in what, I also, understand get resources. In what sane universe is there a link for C results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We, we try to trigger this, this uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we th think that there's any chance that the results Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? I, I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But well, the, You know what, Mr. Zuckerberg? It's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head, because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter, and your company refused to answer. Will you commit right now to within five days answering this question for this committee? We'll follow up on that. Is that a yes? Not a will follow up. I know how lawyers write statements saying we're not going to answer. Will you tell us how many times this warning screen was displayed? Yes or no? Senator, I'll personally look into it. I'm not sure if we have Okay, so you're that. refusing to answer that. Let me ask you this. How many times did an Instagram user who got this warning that you're seeing images of child sexual abuse, how many times did that user click on see results anyway? I want to see that. Senator, I'm not sure if we stored that, but I'll personally look into this and we'll follow up after. And what follow up did Instagram do when you have a potential pedophile clicking on, I'd like to see child porn? What did you do next when that happened? Senator, I think that an important piece of context here is that any context that we think is child sexual Mr. Zuckerberg, abuse, that's called a question. What did you do next when someone clicked, you may be getting child sexual abuse images and they click see results anyway? What was your next step? You said you might be wrong. Did anyone examine, was it in fact child sexual abuse material? Did anyone report that user? Did anyone go and try to protect that child? What did you do next? Senator, we take down anything that we think is sexual abuse material on the service, and we do Did, did anyone verify to... whether it was in fact child sexual abuse material? Senator, I don't know if, if every single search result we're following up on, but... In, did did but you report the, board, the people who wanted it? Senator, do you want me to answer your question? Yeah, I want you to answer the question I'm asking. Did you report time to speak the people them? who click see results anyway? Uh, that's probably one of the factors that we use in reporting. And in general, I mean, we've reported more people and done more reports like this to NCMEC, the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children, than any other company in the industry. We proactively go out of our way across our services to do this and have made, I think it's more than 26 million reports, which is more than the whole rest of the industry combined. So Mr. I Zuckerberg, think that the, the, Mr. Zuckerberg that, that we, your that we company and seriously. every social media company needs to do much more to protect children. All right, Mr. Chu, in the next couple of minutes I have, I want to turn to you. 
You're familiar with China's 2017 National Intelligence Law, which states, quote, all organizations and citizens shall support, assist, and cooperate with national intelligence efforts in accordance with the law and shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of. Yes, I'm familiar with this. TikTok is owned by ByteDance. Is ByteDance subject to the law? For the Chinese businesses that ByteDance owns, yes, it will be subject to this, but TikTok is not available in mainland China. And Senator, as we talked about in your office, we built Project Texas to put this out of reach. So, so ByteDance is subject to the law. Now, under this law, which says, shall protect national intelligence work secrets they are aware of, it compels people subject to the law to lie, to protect those secrets. Is that correct? I c cannot comment on that. Um, what I said again is Be that we have moved it out of reach Because you have to protect those data. secrets? No, Senator, we, TikTok is not available in mainland China. We have moved the data into but, an American cloud TikTok infrastructure. But TikTok is controlled by ByteDance, which is subject to this law. Now, you said earlier, you said, and I wrote this down, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. I'm going to tell you, and I told this when you and I met last week in my office, I do not believe you. And I'll tell you, the American people don't either. If you look at what is on TikTok in China, you are promoting to kids science and math videos, educational videos, and you limit the amount of time kids can be on TikTok. In the United States, you are promoting to kids self-harm videos and anti-Israel propaganda. Why is there such a dramatic difference? Senator, that but, is just not accurate. Uh, there is there, a there's lot not of, a difference between what kids see in China and what kids see here? Senator, TikTok is not available in China. It's a separate experience there. Uh, what, what I'm but, saying but is... But you, you have a, a company that is essentially the same, except it promotes beneficial materials instead of harmful materials. That is not true. We have a lot of science and math content here on TikTok. There's so much of uh, it uh, that created right, a stem feed for okay, 100 let me, billion let me point, views. Let me, point, let me point to this, Mr. Chu. There, there was a report recently uh, that, that compared hashtags on Instagram to hashtags on TikTok, TikTok and what trended. And the differences were striking. So for something like hashtag Taylor Swift or hashtag Trump, Researchers found roughly two Instagram posts for every one on TikTok. That's not a dramatic difference. That difference jumps, jumps to eight to one for the hashtag Uyghur. And it jumps to 30 to one for the hashtag Tibet. And it jumps to 57 to one to the hashtag Tiananmen Square. And it jumps to 174 to one for the hashtag Hong Kong protest. Why is it that on Instagram, people can put up a, a hashtag Hong Kong protest 174 times compared to TikTok? What censorship is TikTok doing at the re request of the Chinese government? None. Senator, that analysis, that that analysis is flawed. The analysis is flawed. It's been debunked by other external sources like the Cato Institute. Fundamentally, a few things happen here. Not all videos carry hashtags. That's the first thing. The second thing is that you cannot selectively choose a few words within a certain time period. Why the period. difference between Taylor Swift and Tiananmen Square? What happened in Tiananmen Square? Senator, there was a massive protest uh, during, in, in, during that time. But what I'm trying to say is our users can freely come and uh, post Why this Why would there be no difference on Taylor Swift or a minimal difference and a massive difference on Tiananmen Square or Hong Kong? Senator, could you wrap up, please? S Senator, our algorithm does not suppress any content simply based on this. To answer it that doesn't. question, why yeah. is there a difference? Like I said, I think this analysis is flawed. You're selectively choosing some words over some periods. We haven't been around there as long as other apps. There is an obvious difference. 174 to 1 for Hong Kong compared to Taylor Swift is dramatic. And Senator Hawley, you haven't voted yet. <clears throat> You're next. And uh, I, I don't know how long the vote will be open, but I'll turn over to you. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Zuckerberg, let me start with you. Did I hear you say in your opening statement that there's no link between mental health and social media use? Senator, what I said is I think it's important to look at the science. I know it's people widely talk about this as if that is something that's already been proven. And I think that the bulk of the scientific evidence does not support that. Well, really, let, let me just remind you of some of the science from your own company. Instagram studied the effect 
of your platform on teenagers. Let me just read you some quotes from the Wall Street Journal's report on this. Company researchers found that Instagram is harmful for a sizable percentage of teenagers, most notably teenage girls. Here's a quote from your own study. Quote, we make body image issues worse for one in three teen girls. Here's another quote. Teens blamed Instagram, this is your study, for increases in the rate of anxiety and depression. This reaction was unprompted and consistent across all groups. That's your study. Senator, we try to under, understand the, uh, the feedback and, and how people feel about the services. We can improve Wait a minute. Your, own, da- your are- own study says that you make life worse for one in three teenage girls. You increase no, Senator, anxiety and says. depression. That's what it says. And you're here testifying to us in public that there's no link. You've been doing this for years. For no, years, you've been coming in public and testifying under oath that there's absolutely no link. Your product is wonderful. The science is nascent. Full speed ahead. While internally, you know full well your product is a disaster for teenagers. Senator, and yet you keep true. right on doing what you're doing. Right? That's not true. That's not true. Let me, let, me t- let me show you some other but facts I, mean, you, I know you, you that you're you familiar carry, you with. I, well, oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Want, that's I mean, not a question. That's, that's, that's not, not a question. Internal... Those are facts, Mr. Zuckerberg. That's, that's not a not, question. That's, those aren't facts. Here, let me show you some more facts. Here are some, here's some information from a whistleblower who came before the Senate, testified under oath in public. He worked for you. He's a senior executive. Here's what he showed he found when he studied your products. So, for example, this is girls between the ages of 13 and 15 years old. 37% of them reported that they had been exposed to nudity on the platform, unwanted, in the last seven days. 24% said that they had experienced unwanted sexual advances they'd been propositioned in the last seven days. 17% said they had encountered self-harm content pushed at them in the last seven days. Now, I know you're familiar with these stats because he sent you an email where he lined it all out. I mean, we've got a copy of it right here. My question is, who did you fire for this? Who got fired because of that? Senator, we study all of this because it's important and we want to improve our services. Well, you just told me a second ago you studied it, but there was no linkage. Who did you fire? I said you mischaracterized. 37% of teenage girls between 13 and 15 were exposed to unwanted nudity in a week on Instagram. You knew about it. Who did you fire? Senator, this is why we're building all the tools. Who did you fire? Senator, I don't think that that's... Who did you fire? uh, I'm I'm not going to answer that. Um, (laughs) Because you didn't fire anybody, right? You didn't take any significant action. It's appropriate to talk about... It, it, like it's not appropriate. HR decisions. Do you know who's sitting like behind you? You've got families from across the nation whose children are either severely harmed or gone, and you don't think it's appropriate to take a, talk about steps that you took? The fact that you didn't fire a I, single person? To, let me I'm ask you this. Let me ask you this. Have you compensated any of the victims? Sorry? Have you compensated any of the victims? I, These I, girls, I, have you compensated them? I don't believe so. You, why not? Don't you think they deserve some compensation for what your platform has done? Help Senator, with counseling services? Help with dealing with the issues that your, your service has caused? Our, our job is to make sure that we build tools to help keep people safe. Are you going to platform. compensate them? Senator, our job and what we take seriously is making sure that we build industry-leading tools to find harmful to content, make money. take it off the services, uh, to make money. and to build tools that empower parents. So you didn't take any people. action. You didn't that's take any true, action. Senator. You didn't fire anybody. You haven't that's compensated a single not, victim. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I, Would I'm, you like to do so now? Well, They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, 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 I'm sorry for everything that you've all gone through. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. And this is why we invest so much and are going to continue doing industry-leading efforts to, uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. You know... Why, Mr. Zuckerberg, why should your company not be sued for this? Why is it that you can claim, you hide behind a liability shield, you can't be held accountable? Shouldn't you be held accountable personally? Will you take personal responsibility? 
Senator, I, I think I've already answered this. I mean, this is these. Well, are try us again. Issues. Will you take personal responsibility, Senator? I view my job and the job of our company as building the best tools that we can to keep our community safe. Well, you're failing at that. To, well, Senator, we're doing an industry-leading effort. We build AI oh, tools nonsense. that. Oh, Your product is killing people. Will you personally commit to compensating the victims? You're a billionaire. Will you commit to compensating the victims? Will you set up a compensation fund Senator, with your money? I think these are these are with your money. Senator, these are complicated yes, that, issues. No, that, that's not a complicated I, I, question, though. That's Senator, a yes or no. Will you set up a victim's compensation fund with your money, the money you made on these families sitting behind you? Yes or no? Senator, I don't think that that's... Uh, my job is to Sounds make sure like a no. good tools. My, my Sounds job like is a no. to make sure that... Your job is to be responsible for what your company has done. You've made billions of dollars on the people sitting behind them. Are you here? You've done nothing to help them. You've done nothing to compensate them. You've done nothing to put it right. You could do so here today, and you should. You should, Mr. Zuckerberg. Before my time expires, Mr. Chu, let me just ask you. Your platform... Why should your platform not be banned in the United States of America? You are owned by a Chinese communist company or a company based in China. The editor-in-chief of your parent company is a Communist Party secretary. Your company has been surveilling Americans for years. According to leaked audio from more than 80 internal TikTok meetings, China-based employees of your company have repeatedly accessed non-public data of United States citizens. Your company has tracked journalists improperly gaining access to their IP addresses, user data, in an attempt to identify whether they're writing negative stories about you. Why should, your, your platform is basically an espionage arm for the Chinese Communist Party. Why should you not be banned in the United States of America? Senator, I disagree with your characterization. Many of what you have said, we have explained in a lot of detail. TikTok is, is used by 170 million Americans. I know, and every love. single one of those Americans are in danger from the fact that you track their keystrokes, you track their app usage, you track their location data, and we know that all of that information can be accessed by Chinese employees who are subject to the diktats of the Chinese Communist Party. That, that why, not, why should you not be banned in this, in this country? Uh, Senator, that is not accurate. A, a lot of what you describe we collect, we don't. And it is 100% accurate. Do you deny that repeatedly Americans' data has been accessed by ByteDance employees in China? We built a project that you know, cost us billions of dollars to stop that, and we have made a lot of progress. And it I hasn't think. been stopped. According to the Wall Street Journal report from just yesterday, even now, ByteDance workers, without going through official channels, have access to the private information of American citizens. I'm quoting from the article. Private information of American citizens, including their birth date, their IP address, and more. That's now. Senator, as we know, the media doesn't always get it right. What, what we have... What we have uh, but the Chinese what, Communist Party does? I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that we have, been, we have spent billions of dollars to build this project. It's rigorous, it's robust, it's unprecedented, and I'm proud of the work that the 2,000 employees are doing to protect the data. It's, of but it's not, it's not protected. That's the problem, Mr. Chu. It's not protected at all. It's subject to Communist Chinese Party inspection and review. Your app, unlike anybody else sitting here, and, and heaven knows I've got problems with everybody here, but your app, unlike any of those, is subject to the control and inspection of a foreign hostile government that has actively trying to track the information of whereabouts of every American that they get their hands on. Your app ought to be banned in the United States of America for the security of this country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.